Hey guys, welcome back to my motherfucking channel. Wait, does Vogue even use profanity? So for today's video, today I wanted to do a video that I've been wanting to do for the longest and it is like a Vogue knockoff kind of like parody type shit. I've seen a lot of these videos, like I'm pretty sure I've seen like each one of them, but I've seen a majority of the Vogue, like, you know, like get ready with me. And I really fucking like it. I like the style of the videos. I don't know, I feel like they're super like simple and very like entertaining for some reason. I'm not some type of high class bitch like m most of the girls on Vogue, but this is gonna be my take on the Vogue like get ready with me, skincare with me, whatever the fuck. Also, I look very busted. Um, That's kind of the purpose of the video. I'm gonna get glammed up and look better by the end of this video. Okay, so the first thing I like to do besides brushing my teeth and you know, washing my face, I like to, what do you call it, clean up my canvas. Ooh, I never say shit like that. Ah! I like to clean up my face and take off any excess dirt. And what I noticed that I've been using that does a good job is the Noxima Anti-Blemish Pads. Um, I really like these a lot. Um, they kind of burn, to be honest. So I just like to grab one. And the smell smells pretty funny. But I like to just go in and wipe it all off. I usually start off with the bottom of my face and then I work my way up because that's where I tend to have leftover dirt. It already saw some of it. Oh my God, you have to be really careful because it burns. If you use the cream as well, I hear, I hear that burns too. I like to use a CeraVe Facial Mo Moisturizing Lotion. Dude, what the hell? I can't say it. And the CeraVe AM Facial Moisture. Bro, I need to shut the fuck So I just put some on the back of my hand and it has SPF 30 in it. Um, I like to just rub it into my skin. I know people say that it's good to pat, but I really don't care. I don't, I'll just do whatever the fuck. Like, see, this does nothing. Like, this takes way too fucking long. I'd rather just rub that shit into my skin. Okay, so while well, that's fucking setting, like I said, I'm going to go in with my makeup. So the first thing I like to do is I like to color correct and do my concealer, like spot conceal. I think that's what it's called. I like to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15 Light. I also like to go in with the infallible L'Oreal Paris Infallible Wear. And then to color correct all my under eyes, just my under eye circles because I really only have imperfections here. I like to use the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer and this is in the shade uh, per Peach Corrector. I usually put this first and what I do is I put it under my under eye circles. I usually put that much and then I blend it in with, um, what do you call it, my ring finger or just my fingers in general. So I'm just gonna blend that shit in. That's why it's important to put like a moisturizing like sunscreen or something because it makes it really easy to blend in. So once that's done, I will go in with the Fit Me Concealer. Um, I don't really do, I don't really like do too much face makeup. Um, so the technique that I've been doing for concealer is I just go like here in the inner corner. It's really basic. I'm pretty sure you've seen like every girl do this. It's like becoming very popular. And then I just do this. Apparently this like just really lifts up your face. Um, so I go in there, I go in under my nose because I don't know if it's just me, but I always tend to have just redness under my nose. Like I always have this like weird ass color, like discoloration under my nose. And then I go in in any place that I have like really big pimples or like acne scars or whatever the fuck. So to blend in, I use this beauty blender. I actually don't know what brand this is. It's not real techniques. I know that for sure. I want to say it's e.l.f. So you're going to go in with this and you're just going to blend it. I usually start off with my under eyes and then I work my way down. And then once I have that kind of well blended out, I'll just go in with the rest of my face. I didn't know that you were supposed to match your neck and not your face. So while I would be tan from the neck down, I would be putting on concealer shade ivory and I'll be making myself look white as hell. For all my beginners in makeup, if you like to wear full face or just any face makeup, make sure your foundation matches your neck and your rest of your body instead of your face because if you're hella tan like me and then your face is just white and you wear only like white ass foundation, it's not a cute look. So after I put on this shade of concealer, I'll go in and I'll put in this one right here. Ooh, I gotta put on some lotion because I hate when I'm doing my makeup and then my hands get like dry. I don't know if that's just me, but that's one of my worst pet peeves. It's like when you have, when you're doing your makeup and you get like makeup on your fingers. Now we're gonna go in with the infallible. So I like to go in on my chin. Um, not necessarily under my nose, but like right here, I guess. Bitch, I look like Hitler. What the fuck? This is like the round two of the blending. 
gonna just blend that shit out. So once I have my concealers done, um, I like to go in and I like to just bake under my eyes and contour or bronze or whatever the fuck you wanna call it. All right, first of all, before I begin, do not judge how old and beat up my palettes are. So to beat up and contour and sculpt my face, I like to use the Stereo, the She Glam Stereo Face Six Color Cosmetic Disc. I don't know where this is from. My mom just got it for me. So basically it just, it has this type of shade range. Um, usually I go in with this color because this is way too orange for me. So to bake, I like to use the Maybelline New York Lasting Fix Banana Powder. So I'll just lightly, that did nothing. Oh, let me just, and I press that bitch into my skin. I used to like swipe it and then I put some on my eyes. Cause my eyes be hella oily. And then I just dust it off because it leaves like a color kind of. Like it's not supposed to, but like it kind of does. So with the contouring, I like to use this brush. I don't know what like name it is. It just looks like your average wooden brush. Then we're just gonna bronze upwards. Like so. You're going to just contour or, what is this called, contouring or, or bronzing? It would be bronzing, right? Cause contouring with like creams and shit, I don't know. I just grab a little bit and then I just make like a three, you know, that basic contour bronze technique, you should know. And then we go back to baking, like I said, use the same powder that I said before and cut right like so but you're not even gonna go like all the way and then you're just gonna swipe down repeat on this side as well also i don't bronze or contour my nose because i don't know how to contour my nose well every time i've tried it's always come out really shitty so once that's done i like to grab this big fluffy brush by elf it's just a total face brush i don't know if they still sell them i've had this for years now you just dust it off any excess and then i just dust off the excess now from here, I like to go in with my eyeshadow. So for my, oh, that's really embarrassing. I have a googly eye on it. Okay, anyways. So for my eyeshadow, I like to go in with the ColourPop Nude Mood. I got this for my birthday last year, I believe. And it's my favorite eyeshadow palette ever. As you can tell, you probably know what colors I use the most. So I'm going with this orangey brown shade. It's my favorite shade. I've noticed that it just goes with everything I wear. So what I go is I just open my eye and I go in with my, my I don't know, my crease? Is this what you call it? crease? And then I already kind of creased the shape for you. What I do is I just put it all over my eyelid. But I make sure to blend it very well because this color is very harsh if you don't blend it right. Then what I like to do is I like to go in with my highlighter palette and it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. Don't know if these are still in stock. I've known these been these have been around for like fat ass minute. Um, but if you do still have it or you want to get it, get it. Best highlight palette ever. So for this, I like to use this brush. Um, don't know what brand this is again, but you get the idea. And then I go in with my inner corners, but like I like to blend it within my crease line to kind of add to the eyeshadow look. And then the other places I put it in is like my nose. Even though I didn't contour, you're probably thinking that's weird as fuck, but I don't know, I just always do this. Um, and then for blush, I like to use this Milani blush. Um, it's in the shade Wild Rose, and it's such a pretty blush. Like, it just looks like this. For blush, I like to use this. This is not what I use for blush. Where the fuck is my blush brush? Um, somebody snatched my blush brush. Cause I don't know, do I use this? No, it's more spikier. I'm going with this. Very light. Don't even put too much because this shit is very pigmented. And you're just gonna go. See? Already did his job. Same thing here. And then any excess, I just kind of put around my nose to just create like that like innocent blush effect. I don't know, I saw this shit in a Bethany Moda tutorial. She was putting blush over her nose and I was like really into that. So I've been doing it ever since. And then for my brows, I know you guys are probably wondering what the hell do I do with my brows? My eyebrows have been so like hard to work with through time that like I just stopped giving a fuck. So all I do is just brush them up. And I know you're probably thinking that if I were to do them, it would, you know, make my face look better, but 
you can't tell that to someone who just doesn't give a shit. So, from there, I like to just wipe off the excess makeup I have on my lips. And then for lips, I don't really do my lip combo no more. If I do line my lips, I use two lip colors. Um, I use these two lip liners from LA Girl, Perfect Precision. The problem is they're not sharpened and I don't have a sharpener, so I haven't been able to line my lips, which is kind of sad, but. Since I'm not able to, I usually always go in with my handy dandy Victoria's Secret Get Gloss Lip Gloss in the shade Peekaboo. If you guys are some OGs, you guys have known this bitch has been around for the longest. My favorite lip gloss ever. That is the makeup look. Um, let me just put my hair down and just zhuzh it up. So my original intentions were to straighten my hair. I took a shower and I just put my hair up in a bun, but I think it's gonna look fucked up. Let me just, okay. Okay, that's not feeling. I don't know. I don't know if, I, if I'm liking this. I feel like I look like baby Jesus. My hair does this like effect where it looks like I have curtain bangs. So I just try to like play around with it. Um, but if you guys did enjoy this video and you guys like this style of video, let me know. This was super fun to film. Um, I do hope that one day I am able to actually make a real Vogue makeup tutorial or get ready with me. Let me know if you guys try this makeup tutorial. I don't know if you guys do this makeup routine. Tag me, fucking let me know. I would love to see you guys' recreations. But with that said, I love you guys and I hope my beautiful Craig Canadians are having a beautiful day. Stay Craig Love you. Bye.